Hello, I'm Ralph Blum, the author of the Book of Runes. Welcome to this online rune reading for this week. Each week, I'll be picking a rune on your behalf and posting it on this web page. With more than two million copies of the Book of Runes in print, this ancient oracle is being brought to you on social and digital media for the first time. Ancient Viking mariners used the runes for direction and guidance, to navigate when clouds covered the stars. In our time, the runes serve as a compass for conduct, a means of determining the true north of right action in any challenging situation. And always be mindful that right action trumps self-interest. So let this rune reading serve as a guide for whatever issues are on your mind this week. The runes oracle does not provide answers. Rather, it provides a channel of communication with your subconscious mind, the part of you that knows everything you need to know for your life now. For more regular use of the runes, you can consult the ebook and use the online random runes generator. And you can sign up for our online runes study course. You'll find all of these things at www bookofrunes.com. So let's prepare for this week's rune reading. Think of an issue you're facing in your life right now. It could be whether or not to take a job, a matter of health, how to act in a challenging relationship, any situation where you need more information in order to help you make a decision. Then hold the issue in your mind and take a few deep breaths. For those of you who don't have an urgent issue, there's a simple question you can ask. And that is, what do I need to know for my life right now? Now, with your consent and agreement, I will draw a rune on your behalf, and you will see it posted below this video. Okay, okay. This week's rune is the blank rune, the unknowable. It's a rune of total trust and should be taken as exciting evidence of your most immediate contact with your own true destiny. It can portend a death, but that death is usually symbolic and may relate to any part of your life as you are living it now. Relinquishing control is the ultimate challenge for the spiritual warrior. Willingness and permitting are what this room requires, for how can you exercise control over what has not yet taken form? So know that the work of self-change is progressing in your life. Receiving this room is a direct test of faith. So as the Icelandic Vikings used to say, good bless a thig, which is Icelandic for God bless you, until we meet again. <laughs>